Russians changed tactics in the south of Ukraine, civilians are now the main target. In the southern direction of Ukraine, Russian troops changed their tactics, moving on to airstrikes on the population. This was announced by the head of the Joint Coordinating Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces, Natalia Gumenyuk. The enemy changed its tactics, corrected them due to the fact that it is becoming more and more difficult for the invader to occupy ground positions, where we drove them out of the territory on the left bank of the Dnieper. They understand that they cannot hide behind the local population either. Therefore, they are trying to compensate it with air attacks, Gumenyuk said. According to her, we are talking about enemy aircraft, which uses guided bombs, which the invaders are doing now almost every day. Also, the Russian military uses Mavic-type drones, but explosive VOG-type grenades, ammunition for grenade launchers, are attached to them. Gumenyuk added that the enemy chose this tactic to attack crowds and hit cars. She noted that all of these are examples of classic terrorism since these attacks are not directed at any military facility. Also, literally for the last three days, the enemy has stepped up attacks with drones. They are trying to hit the territory of the Kherson region. Thus, the occupiers are trying to remind the population of Ukraine that they have long-term and can reach not only the frontline territories, Gumenyuk said. She clarified that the deoccupied Snigirevka is one of the most mined territories. It was this that stood out among other masses with a huge number of explosive surprises left by the enemy. Gumenyuk stressed that this is also part of the tactics of the invaders because they know where they left the explosives and deliberately strike at this area. During the strikes, there is an even greater detonation of explosives explained the head of the Joint Coordinating Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces.